Hi guys, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Signs of the Sojourner Prologue. Um, I didn't know what a Sojourner was because I don't know shit, but apparently, according to the Google A, it is a person that temporarily stays in a place. So let's crack into this bad boy. And as always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to try it for yourself slash support the creator. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and I appreciate it. A childhood spat. The worst fight you and Elias ever had was over a strange locket in Mom's desk. Curiosity got the best of you, but Elias was afraid of getting in trouble. Elias sounds like a bitch. Smell bitch up in here. Your mom has collected so much cool stuff in here. How many towns has she visited now? I guess it's a little kid. I should do like a soft voice. What is this? What is this? Empathetic and observant. Logical. They're all the same. They're all the same. I don't even have choices, son. Boom. What did he just do? What did you do? We want to be... All my cards are the same, homie. What? Uh, we got a chat box. Conversations. Complete a sequence will... Completing a sequence will earn a white thing. A mismatch will earn a uh, black square. When all white squares or black squares have been earned, the conversation will end. Click on speech bubbles to view previous dialogue. Okay. Sure. Let's play Caraveners. Just like Car What is a Caraveener? Caravan- Caravaneers. Okay. <laughs> Just like her. You be the driver, I'll be the navigator. Dope. Okay. Wait, hang on. You shouldn't look in her desk. She's going to be mad. Is it that locket? I've never seen your mom wear a locket. Okay, how do I... So... Boom. Oh, he didn't like that. Uh-oh. What'd you just do? Hey, you're not listening. We should not be- shouldn't be snooping. You're not my dad. He just like one-shot me though. Why would he do that? Boom. What you gonna do now? What you got? Did I break it? Oh, wow. I suck. Why do you always drag me into stuff like this? Put it back before we get caught. Oh, so I failed. The fight could have ended, only ended how it did. You and Elias talked past each other. Sometimes mom said it's fine to not get along, but that time she stepped in to mediate. Elias sounded like he wants to catch the paws. You two, what are you doing in here? I'll need to leave soon. The caravan's almost here. Come say goodbye. What are you even fighting about? We ain't fighting. He's being a bitch. <laughs> God dang it. Aha! We're doing it. Accord. Created when you and the other person each play one card together, connecting for the same symbol in a row. Accord will protect your progress when a mismatch is made. Dope. So now if I do this, I'll accord even harder, right? Boom! We did it! We did the thing! Yes! It's okay to not always understand each other. One miscommunication doesn't have to end a friendship. Let me f help you figure this out. Hey, we did it. Good job, Ross. Wow. If you get a little lost, think about how he's connected in, he's reacted in the past. How you've been able to connect and get past your differences. So I'm guessing we're going for the white thing. The white thing's what we want. We don't want the black thing, apparently. But look at my choices, though. I have no choices. Okay, she's... Okay, Mom understands. Mom's got my back. Hit me with the triangle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy peasy. Not all disagreements have to be the end of your friendship. Listen to each other. See if you can find common ground. Mom steps in. You'd think back on the fights or years, or years later, after Mom passed on, when you and Elias had to rely on each other all the more. Mom passed on. Mom died? What? 15 years later, everything's happening so fast. Farewells. It's your first time back inside Mom's old store since the funeral. All told, she didn't leave much. 
She was always on the road, and what she brought back sold fast. Elias runs his hand down an empty shelf before clearing his throat. <clears throat> you feel it too, don't you? Uh, the uh, weirdness of being in here without mo your mom? Are we not related? I guess we're just friends. Can't seem to, seem to wrap my head around her being gone. My bad. Now I'm the one making things weird. Yeah, you jerk. Okay, we can do this. Wow. What did he just do? Accommodate. Duplicate both symbols of the previous card. What he did was accommodate. Okay, so we did good then, right? Oh yeah, easy. He's like accommodating me. Perfect. We did it. Hooray. Yeah, you're right. She wouldn't want us to dwell. I gotta cheer up. After all, she always looked so pleased when she was here. Making people smile, giving them samples of cool new stuff, even if they were broke. I think it might just have been her favorite place. I don't think I understand the intricacies of this game, because I don't know how to predict what he's going to do. But she'd be so happy to see the two of us taking over the store like this. You out there on the open road and me, uh, keeping an eye on things here, which is totally just as exciting. Totally. Not that I mind, of course. Being stuck out there in the caravan would drive me crazy. Would drive me crazy. Alright, dude. Hit me with some circles. What if I do this? Does this break my link? No, it doesn't because I have a thing there. We're good to go. Oh, play, son. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's the caravan now, right on schedule. The leader, Nadine, runs a tight ship, but I don't trust her. It'll be alright, probably. I hear she's planning to drop the town off from the caravan route. That'd be really bad for Bartow. Hey, while you're out there, maybe you can change your mind. Oh, of course I can. I'm a card master. Yu-Gi-Oh! The King of Games. Boom, baby. You see these card powers I got right here? No matter what, you're going to do great. I bet you'll come back with a bunch of cool stuff. You packed everything you need, right? Socks? Socks are important. If the trucks break down out there and you don't have socks, it's all over. That is a fact. Your feet are like the most important thing you can take care of when you're out, like, venturing, moving, anything. Feet. I promise you, that is the most important thing. Don't worry about this place. It's in good hands. Take care of yourself out there. Yeah, if you don't take care of your feet, you're not you're not gonna make it long. You'll miss Elias too, and wish you didn't have to leave so soon. You'll you've planned this trip for a while, but it only started to feel real in the past last few hours. The store needs three new products. Okay, what's this? View your calendar. Oh wow, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Ah, uh, you can get, uh, tutorials. I'm good. Total concordant conversations. Total discordant conversations. I guess the first conversation is a tutorial. Choose a card from your experience to gain this one. It's a comedy. It's awesome. Yeah, get rid of one of these. This is a pretty neat game. It's like a... The resolute leader of the caravan. Triangle and circle is how she lives her life. Bartow, quiet enough to hear the grasshoppers rub their wings together at dawn and the crickets at dusk. You know the name, nickname, and favorite color of every person in town. It's past time to leave for a spell. What'd I do? Follow close. Almost a dozen vehicles sputter down Bartow's dirty ro dirt roads. Their engine once signaled Mom's imminent departure, as well as her return. Nadine's sitting on bo the running board of her truck. Cab gestures for your attention. Alright, hit me with the Nadine. It's time to dip a mat. Nadine mentioned a place from Mom's stories, Pachinko. I trust you have sufficient provis provisions for the route. route. Our first stop will be at Pachinko, the artist car colony. Be alert. Reptiles cross Thunder Lizard Road to their heart's contentment. Content. You don't want guts on your windshield. Nadine told me about the road from home to Pachinko. Okay. So she likes triangle, so I need this to win. 
This is how we do. What are you doing, lady? Oh, you catch my hand, son. I know you're going through a lot right now. For that, I'm sorry. Well, it didn't work with me, you dick. Don't you triangle circle me. Oh, we can do it. It doesn't matter if she hits me with something weird now. Sick. We're good. My condolences for your loss. Your mom and I had our differences, but I respected her all the same. Before the caravan heads out, we need to talk. Okay. It's talking time. Unless you turn this store around and keep it well stocked, the caravan will have to drop Barto off the, from the route. No, you can't do that. You wouldn't do that, right? I need this. Oh, no, no, no. She's gonna triangle me here. I can feel it. Yes! Oh, I felt it in my soul. I knew it. I'm on to you, Nadine. Without the store in good shape, it doesn't make sense for the caravan to stop here. Awful waste of resources. I probably don't have to spell it out what this would mean. Th that this would be bad for Bartow. I know y'all depend on the traffic. Alright, here we go. It's not my choice, not entirely. I'd make the final call, but I'm beholden to the caravan members and their needs. Believe it or not, Bartow would have be dropped already if I didn't owe your mom a favor. A favor. I argued on her, your behalf. This is an interesting way to tell a story, though. Even though this feels like heck of RNG to me, but it might just be because I suck. I feel like she's going to do it again. But it doesn't matter, right? Because if I link it here, it doesn't matter. Yeah, hit me with it. Okay, dope. Yeah, as long as I linked it, there's no way to lose. It might not sound like it, kid, but I'm in your corner. My hands are tied with this. I want to see. I want to see you succeed. Nothing about this situation is good, but Nadine probably isn't to blame. You thank her for the info. I think we did good, right? I think we did. I don't really want this card, but I might need it. No, I won't, I won't ever need that. Uh, yeah, I will. Yes, I will. I'll need that at some point. She's working a shift at the roadhouse. She has her hands on the steering wheel. Barto, so can I pick a person, whichever? Barto, quiet enough to hear the grasshoppers rub, rub their wings together at dawn and the crickets at dusk. You know the nigga, name, nickname, and favorite color of every person in town. Oh. Move on. Oh, it was showing me who I've already done in the area. Okay. That's kind of dope. Alright, what do I do now? Send help. I guess I hit this. Oh yeah, we're pachinkoing. Oh wow, she just got in the way of my- okay. The twisty canyon roads leading to Pachinko would send a green traveler in circles. A rundown vehicle has trouble with the last slope up to Plateau, but Nado or Nadine leaves no one behind. She's chatting with a group of artists. Hit me. The patron. There's an outdoor art show in the square with well-to-do crowd in attendance. Your dusty attire raises the eyebrows as you browse. S stopping to study an oil painting of an abandoned city, you're suddenly aware of being study yourself. This is a pretty cool game, though. I like this. It's different. Don't mind me. I can't help but to delight in the sight of new faces around Pachinko. My name is Marques, and this lovely little show is all my doing. I heard about your mom. Please accept my dearest condolences. Or deepest condolences. I'd have rolled out the red carpet if I knew known you were of your coming. So is that your that piece your favorite? I don't know. Boom. See that's why I needed this piece. I already knew. Easy peasy. 
I think you just need to build the most well-rounded deck you can. Well, it's a bit dour for my taste, but to be drawn to that piece in particular, you must have a keen eye for your art. The city in the painting is Hara. Once great, now dead and abandoned. Our case mentioned a place from mom stories, Hara. It's distracting to focus on the unpleasantness of the past. Would you rather enjoy some cute cat paintings from a circle artist? Yes. Kitty cat paintings? Hit me with it. I'm ready. Oh, you haven't heard of the circle? No. Strange. But your attire does suggest you've been spending your time under a rock. Thanks, just getting mean. Well, no matter. You're here now, and it's no accident. You see, I too have a keen eye for talent. Alright, hit me with a talent lady. I'm gonna have to use this. Ah, oh, that was not the right play. Oh, I didn't get- can I reshuffle? What's this do? I'm doomed. Shoot. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to lose this one. Sorry, lady. Oh, it's not your favorite? Interesting. Very interesting. Sorry, lady. Stop putting those, you dick. <laughs> oh, we should be going with the cards we drew. The circle is Pachinko's castle of patrons, of which I am one, obviously. Our guidance is what sets this town apart from the others. No art means no vision, no future. The makings of a dead, sterile civilization. Not unlike horror here. Alright. Final combat. Your mom shared the circle's vision, you know. Many years ago, Pachinko was her home. The town owes a lot to her. The first time I met her, I had a very good feeling. The same one I feel talking to you now. I do hope you'll come back. The circle can always use new friends. Alright, this is how we... Oh, no. Oh, are we doomed? I think we might be doomed. That really sucks, actually. Oh, thank you, lady. You're such a nice lady. Oh, crap. Are we doomed? Oh, we are so doomed, actually. Ah, damn it. I didn't have a chance there. That's not to say I'm perfect, of course. We all have our flaws, of course. The trick is to use those imperfections to our advantage, don't you agree? What the f- This lady is being toxic. Why, lady? Oh my god, she doomed me! You fucking jackass! Oh, thank god. She was trying to- Oh, man. It feels bad, man. There's not much you can do if you don't have the right cards. You can look up what cards they need before the battle, but dang. Alas, I really must be running along now, please, but please have some wine. Consider it a welcome gift. Don't be shy. I always provide more, far more than my guests can drink. No need to thank me now. I'm sure we'll talk again soon, won't we? I don't know, to be honest. Marquez told seems to know more than she lets on, but she wasn't kidding about the wine. The crate of red wine is almost too heavy to carry back to the truck. Marquez told you about the circle. Cool. I need more triangles, actually. Let's get rid of one of these. Okay, the twisty cannon. Okay, Nadine, let's go. Rematch. Nadine contemplates a cast of bronze sculpture, I can't read right now, of frilled neck lizards, whose head has been replaced with the vacant, man's vacant features. She rubs her chin for a while, chewing on some thoughts. You handle those steep hills and inclines well. The caravan's next stop will be Clifton, the market town. Okay. The road we take is prone to landslides. Road close. Ride close. If I can't see your truck, I can't protect you. Nadine told me about the road from Press Pachinko to Clifton. Seems like use useless information, to be honest. Oh, this is a do or die mission. Aha! We did it! Easy. 
God, we did the other trick first. No one. Your mom, she had a lot of history here in Pachinko. Many friends, I believe. She always loved the licorice. You admire the sculpture with Nadine and compassionable, companionable silence for a moment. Imagining how mom must have found herself in an identical situation many, many times over the years. Okay. All right, move on. We're doing it. Great success. We defeat a pachinko. What happens if we go to Hara? I don't think I can, actually. It's not a choice, but I know where it is. If we do ever get to... Canyon Town has some incredible views of the Long Expanse. The caravan's second stop on the route. Let's go. Boop, boop, boop. Fatigue. Gain fatigue over time as you travel. Returning home and unpacking your items will remove it. Fatigue cannot match with any symbols. Oh, that sucks. What? I don't want that. Am I fatigued? How do I go home? I want to go home. Oh, Claus. She's watching travels walk past. A man from the caravan. He looks familiar. Ramir. Every turn down the streets of Clifton seems to reveal another mountain in the distance, another horizon. Nadine doesn't stop for sightseers, though. You watch for pedestrians as the caravan rolls downtown. Alright, who's first? Oh, they're the same. I guess I'll do you first. Familiar face. You know his name, Ramir. He grew up in Bartow, traveled with the caravan, turning, turned from neighbor to visitor. He's sitting off the hood of a car the same way he used to sit off his porch, way back in the day. First time with the caravan, ain't it? Hope your mom taught you the ropes. It's not easy out there, out here. I remember my first time. Pachico, Clifton, Bucan, Borough, a whirlwind of new experiences. Just keep your cool. The road to Birkin... Burrow shreds a lot of tires. Don't panic if all goes to hell. Isn't his thing like circle triangle? So I need to shift that to this. Yeah, thought so. I'm on to you. Now I do this. Easy. Remember, everyone you meet on the road is out here for a reason, and most won't tell you what it is, that is. Don't believe every word that comes out of someone's mouth, even if they're nice, especially if they're nice. Thanks, man. I always respected your mom. She thrived out here, completely in her element, a shark if I ever knew one. Just because she had friends on the road doesn't mean you do. You don't inherit connections. I do. Hey, Observer reveals the other player's hand when played. Ah, uh, that's... Well, why does that matter to him? Does he want to know what I got? It took your mom's years to build her network. It'll take you time to... I don't want to see you ruin what she made. But I got all the good answer choice. Don't be a dick. You nod along to Ramirez's advice. He glances over every so often to make sure you're paying attention, which seems to satisfy him. Okay, he's just like assumed there. It's all good. So I have circle triangle. I kind of like how my deck is right now, to be honest. Oh, this is kind of cool, though. I like the idea of it, but then I have like too many triangle triangles. Well, I could replace this with this, right? Yeah, might as well do that. watching travelers walk past. I right, hit me with the claws. Vendors and Clifton complete, compete to make the grandest promises delivered with the loudest, most tenacious voice. For every woe, there's a product that can fix it. Claws, on the other hand, is quiet, barely audible beneath crowds. 
You must be with that caravan. Hello to you, traveler. Safety in numbers, is that it? Very wise. I'm a humble, pe humble peddler of roast nuts. Don't you enjoy those travelers? Who does not? Life's simple pleasures. You a peanut whisperer? Like, why are you whispering peanuts at me? Ah, oh, crap. Actually, take this. Gotcha. But don't tell anyone. If everyone knew I sold rust and nuts, they'd buy them up. None left for you. We sh could share a secret, can't we? You and I? Just a little information. A mere factoid kept safe between us. What in the world? She's a weirdo. Perhaps you might even trust me with your own secrets. You know so much about me, and I have so little about you. Scandalous. She seems evil. I think I was just warned about you. Ah, this is fatigue. Hmm. I think I'm gonna lose here. Oh, nice! What a homie. If someone inquires about after these roasted nuts, simply slap, smile, and touch the delicious handful into your mouth. <laughs> Causes disorienting sales pitch almost makes the roasted nuts sound like some odd metaphor until she physically hands you a bundle of them. I guess I'll just get rid of the card I already got so I can continue. All right, Nadine. Oh, Nadine don't want to play? She's helping the caravan member replace the tire. He doesn't have time for you right now. She's busy counting coins. Hey. A simple detour. The bright, unobstructed sun of over Clifton powers up the truck quicker than usual. Uninvited, Mir opens your passenger side door and hops inside. What a rude man. What do you want? Got a proposition. The caravan usually gets around to anchor last, but I've got something to take care of there. So, what's that got to do with me, bud? Oh, what a dick. That whole business with the railroad got a whole lot of folks working to get that train back in operation. Dang, I only got one shot at this. Whenever something like that goes on, there's money to be made, and I don't mean for manual labor, no thanks. Yeah, we're doing it. The place the caravan goes next, Bukemboro, it's a nowhere town. Less folks than Bartow, serious. All the endless junk for sale in Anka would impress the homebodies back in Bartow. Worth your time. I don't know if I can do this one. I feel like this is a play. Yeah, we did it! Hooray! That was intense, because I only had one chance to get through it. Hey, it might even be fun. The road from here goes on forever. Feels like I could tell you all kinds of story. You don't have to decide right now. Just think about it. Two bar towers on the road have an adventure. Think about dropping by Inca. That seems good enough for Ramirez for now. Ramirez is traveling with you. Wish I could get rid of that damn fatigue card. What happens if I go home? I shall wait. What items am I supposed to be getting? 
It was my first time seeing the area. Romero wants a ride to Anka. He told me what I was supposed to get, right? I just don't remember what it was. Can I save? Alright, it auto saves. Let's go, ballsy boys. Oh, that's so risky. I don't even have a square. Yeah, I can't go there. Maybe next time? Yeah, I don't have a square, bro. I can't do that place. Yeah, I can't. It's impossible. For right now. Maybe later. If I get a later. You might just be like, Oh, you don't want to go? Screw you. But I can't do anything about it. Hey. Listen. We go... Oh, yeah, he's met. Okay, whatever, dude. The vehicle rolls to a stop. Romero hops out and retrieves his rucksack from the truck bed. He drums his knuckles on your window until you rolled it down and talked to him. How? Where are you even headed? We're farther away from Anka. Sheesh. I'm going to find another ride. Tough. Don't sweat it. I know you're new to the road or whatever. Still don't make promises you can't keep. I didn't make any promises, dude. You'll make it up to Mayor sometime. When or how, who knows. Favors are useful to have on the road. Mayor will travel on his own. Yeah, bro, I can't go. I have no square power at all. There, That was death. Well, Matilda, she's grinding leaves in a mortar. A red-tailed hawk perches, perches on the Dermot Railroad tracks from above Bucan Borough, gulping down a lizard. The few vendors in town wait outside their stores, windows cleaned and sidewalks kept. They count on the caravan's arrival. Matilda's business resides in a low, earth-colored house. The first floor converted into a storefront. Barrels line the walls. Filled with the fresh tea leaves whose scent complete, compete for your attention. What's up? She looks really happy about something. Hey, we've got a lucky duck over here. I just about sold out of my famous, world famous matcha. I grind the tea leaves up myself. Takes so long, but so soothing, not tedious. Kind of like meditation. Alright. Uh oh, she's gone. Okay. Hey, easy. I searched the tea leaves out from out near Aldhurst. Not enough shade around here. The sun's too brutal. You ever been out that way? I swear they won the climate lottery, but the sea will eat them first, so... <laughs> That's just how it goes, huh? Pick up and move wherever it's still habitable. Who knows when the groundwater will run out there? Hey, run out here. Okay, circle, circle seems good. The winning combination right there. I could do it again, actually. Let's do that. Easy. We did it. That's why I meditate, huh? Only peace that I got from I get is. From watching the world die around me. So, Matcha, come see me again and I'll, maybe I'll read your fortune if you're lucky. Until today's Matcha smells incredible. You're lucky to have gotten some. I don't want to forget anything. Get off me. She's enjoying a bowl of Matcha. At a small table outside a store, Nadine whisks matcha in a tea bowl. Her motion, motions are precise. Not a single drop spills. Your presence feels intruded, intrusive, like you're interrupted some, like you've interrupted some personal ritual. I'm so tired. God dang. I'm sorry. I can't read. Still here. Your final stop is, and the route will be Aldhurst. Some call it scenic. I don't care for it. The road's in poor condition, more than most. Many travelers bypass Bukum Borough, but I enjoy their matcha. Do 
you have like one of those relationships with them like you do our town, which is why you're coming to help them, I guess. This place, Bukumburo, it reminds me of Bartow. Do you find that an act to be an accurate assessment? You leave Nadine to sip her drink in peace. Uh, psych. There's gotta be a way to not pick it up. Oh, that's so toxic, actually. I don't want to get rid of my cards, you jackass! Is there no way to avoid that? Like, that's annoying. I feel like you should be able to not pick a card if you don't want to. <sighs> Whatever. Ah yes, another fatigue card. Just what I needed. Wonderful. Aldhurst. This is a cool looking town. Look at them ear gauges. Holy shoot. He takes pickles to the pinnacle. She whistles for you to come over. Alright, hit me with it. Nodine loading up her vehicle with pots of kimchi whistles for your attention. It's hard to tell if the condensation is or condescension is intentional or not. I need some special sunglasses too. So you made it. The caravan splits here. I don't take greenhorns out toward Old Moray. Too dangerous for your maiden voyage. If you take the direct road back from here, you'll be fine. It's mostly downhill that direction. Scenic route too. Okay. I mean, that's fine with me. Whatever. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That doesn't even work. I'm screwed. Takes a lot to build trust with me. Actions speak louder than words, you know. I haven't kept the caravan going strong all these years by being soft. Oh hell, that was a mistake. You do not use the fatigue cards. You gotta be more careful out there. Well, I learned a very valuable lesson there. Holy crap, you do not do that. Wow, that was a failure. Speaking of liabilities, have you seen Ramir? Lost him around Clifton. Hope he's not getting into too much trouble. Listen, out of respect for your mom, I'm going to tell you something I probably shouldn't. Ever heard of the Ry Rilkers? They're practically royalty in Old Moray and got ties all over the place. Their words lie and they've threatened to shut the caravan out of Old Moray if I don't drop Bartow from the route. Now, I'm not the one to bend easily, so easily, but it does make things more complicated. Your store really needs to, sh to shine for the caravan to stand up to them. Oh, we'll do the best we can, you know? Whew, this is stressful, man. That, that car screwed me. Do not use the fatigue cards. Just keep them in your hand. It's a super fail if you use them. Why this is happening now, I can't say. Could be your mom has some dirt on the real curse. Word is, she had some run-ins with them on the past, and by all accounts, they're the type to hold grudges. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. The timing could be better, but it's important you understand. Your mom, she was a complex woman. She had lots of opinions and made a habit of tr making waves wherever she went. Not the easiest person to travel with. You follow this caravan's path, the same one your mom took, and you're bound to learn more of some things about her. Some good, some not so much. Oh yes. This is good. This is real good. Lady, what are you doing? You're messing things up. Don't worry, I got you. I'll fix our relationship. I got you. Sunglasses lady. As for you and me, I don't believe kids always take after their parents, so that'd be unfair. So don't start trouble and there won't be none. I run this caravan so no one else has to, and I like 
to run it a certain way safe. You're grateful to Nadine for telling you the whole story, even if you're not sure what to do with the info. You you endured the caravan route. Yay. I don't want your shitty cards at all. I was hoping you'd give me a diamond one because now I don't I don't think I can do pickle man. I right, we'll give it a try. Come on pickle man. The shelves in Toast to Toast store rise almost 20 feet, filled with jars of colorful food. He waves from a rolling ladder. The supply here could feed a whole, small town for months. I don't think I can do this, but we'll give it a try. Pickle man. I'll pickle anything you can imagine here. Anything. Look at those shelves and call me a liar. Oh god, pickle man, please. Oh man, we're screwed. I only need to go one more right. I don't need to go to the end, so I'm not gonna waste that card there. We made it. Woo! Stress. Carrots, cucumbers. If they if it fits in a jar, I'll pickle it. If it doesn't fit in a jar, I'll make it fit. Sick. That wasn't my idea, believe it or not. Folks cried out. Toss it to sell those amazing pickles. I'm sure that's what they said. What are you doing, dude? What? Come on, kid. Everyone likes pickles, right? No. Can't convince me otherwise. Why'd you get to go back to back, you suck? <laughs> Who am I to refuse adoring fans? I'm just giving people what they want. Now I've perfected dozens of flavors. We're so screwed. He doesn't have a triangle card in his whole deck, I don't think. You know I came up from nothing. Nothing to my name but a cucumber. A little vinegar and a dream. Look at me now. Oh, wow. Why don't you go first this time, you butt? Dang butthole. Hmm. Give this flavor a spin. I'll knock your socks off. I'm screwed. What's this I hear about an old man becoming a pickle? Preposterous. Please, no such nonsense in my shop. Yeah, I feel like you're so screwed when... Move on. Back to Bartow. Screw that guy. I could go to Old Moray, but I probably should go back to Bartow. I'm too fatigued. Are you sure you want to return home? This will end your current trip and you won't be able to leave again until you pack your items. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I gotta go back. I'm way too fatigued. Coming home to Bartow after the, the time away feels strange, like someone rearranged your bedroom while you slept. All the same pieces are still here, mostly... But what's different and what's misremembered? There's no telling. Best friends forever, you always said. You find Elias at home, sitting on the floor, surrounded by craft materials, glue, markers, cardstock, thin polystyrene sheets. He looks exhausted. So, Why do I have cat ears? Hey, hey, look who made it back in one piece. While you were gone, I made something you can stock in the store. Bartow at your key rings. People love souvenirs. Looks like you've got plenty of stuff to store already but but these will be popular they'll make good mementos to help travelers remember Bartow you don't owe me this time haha ha, unless they're really popular oh and you won't believe what else I found while you were gone check it out your mom's old locket oh cool thanks man oh god I can't even get rid of my fatigue bro what are you doing to me I am so fatigued. Oh my gosh. Don't worry, I won't get upset with you for taking it this time. In fact, I think you should. A good luck charm of your own. You might need it on the road. 
I am so screwed, dude. Anyway, how was the caravan? Did, did, did Dean say anything else about Bartow, your mom? You don't have to break the news to anyone, did you? I bet rumors probably sped fast on the road. Bro, why are you asking me all these questions? This is why this is so hard, because she's bothering me when I just got home. Yeah. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm just tired of making all those key rings. Okay, well then stop harassing me. Please. Oh, I'm so screwed again. <sighs> Thank gosh. What a homie. You managed to get a dean to tell you more? That's impressive, you're a natural. I wonder what the Rilkers have got to do with your mom. They've got ties all over the place from what I hear. No wonder they're able to pressure the caravan. This game could be amazingly hard. With the fatigue building up and how far you go, this could be so hard. God say, Nadine kind of intimidates me, but maybe there's more to her than meets the eye. Like a transformer. Like a transformer? Oh my god, dude. Please, work with me here. Jeez, what's your deal? I'm just trying to help. What's your deal, bro? I just got home and you're being a dick. Like, what? What? How is this me? This is you. <laughs> this is you being a dick. I got, like, so much fatigue. I guess you have to be tough to make it out the, there on the road. Kind of like your mom was. Sounds like they butted heads. I'm not sure. Still, I'm still not sure I trust Nadine. Rilkers or no Rilkers, it'd be real bad for lots of good people if the caravan stopped coming here. We gotta keep the store doing well, so there's no excuse for them to drop Boto off from the route. Oh, thank gosh. We might be good. We're going the distance. Yes! Lord, that was difficult. These fucking things, dude. Whatever, I won't make a fuss when Nadine comes around. Maybe. But she's not some authority on your mom. Elias is bursting with excitement over the store. Hopefully these key rings will be ahead. Everyone has keys, right? Just a fact of life. Elias found mom's old locket. I wonder what's inside. Man, what I don't want to get rid of is that dang... Stupid freaking fatigue cards. That's why I'm here. Okay, how do I unpack? Yeah. Going home to Bartow after time away feels strange. Likely, like someone rearranged your bedroom while you slept. All the same pieces are still here, mostly, but what's different and what's misremembered? There's no telling. Yay, we did it. Welcome home. When everything is unpacked, let's hang out. Are we unpacked? Kind of just unpacked itself. That was kind of nice. Uh oh. We did it! Hooray! Holy crap, we've been here for a year or a month. At least we got rid of that crap. Shoot. Aw, cutscene. I'm a cat girl. Or fox girl. You and Elias catch up, picking up right where you left off. You tell him about your first time in the quaint town of Aldhurst. He tells you how he proud he is that the store's grand reopening was a success, praising you for stocking an impressive four items. Will it be enough for the caravan to stand up to the Rokers? I don't know, I hope so. Well, we're sold out, we did good. Solar technician waxed po poetic about the sun in Clifton while picking up his groceries. The technician told me about the road from home to Clifton. Samuel bought the red rhyme to stock at the roadhouse. A man wearing a hat and sunglasses bought a brush toe keyring, praising the artistry and a deep voice. <laughs> was it freaking, was it Elias that bought it? The hydroponic farmer bought the matcha to study, hoping to improve his own tea crops. Nice, we did it. That feels good, this game feels, I'm excited. Cause I really like, I like games where you go out and you do trade things. And the card game is pretty intricate, I don't know it looks like it's going to be too hard, though, with fatigue building up the farther you go out. Hopefully there's, like, checkpoints or something you can get your rest back at. Because having to have square cards in your deck, diamond cards in your deck, seems ridiculously hard. 
Because, like, with circle and triangle cards, it was still pretty difficult to, like, 100% the conversations. So, I don't know. I hope they get that balance, like, where it feels good like it already did so far. But it looks like it could get really freaking difficult. But I really like this game. I like the concept of going and buying items to help people in the town and, like, progressing the story. This looks so sick. But, yeah, I'm not going to play through like the other options just because this is the prologue but if a full game comes out i'll probably definitely check it out but yeah if you like the video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching as always guys i do always appreciate it bye